Gambo Tanko Kakara of Rafi Local Government Area of Niger State, Vice President of the Association of Local Governments of Nigeria, Algon, at the meeting held in Abuja. The resolution was contained in a communique issued by the Association's Public Relations Officer, Dakbo Olagunju, at the end of Algon's National Executive Committee meeting. The communique stated that the meeting had dissolved the Ketika Committee at the national level led by Alaji Ibrahim Ahmed Kari and elected new officers to manage the affairs of the association for the next two years in line with Section 5, Subsection 2 of its constitution. The officers elected at the end of the exercise included Gambo Tanku Kagara, President, Niger, Namdi Udweze, Deputy President, Abia, Sani Hassan Dugare, Treasurer Gumbi, Suleiman Mohammed Kadi, Auditor Kebi, Joseph Jazi, Legal Advisor, Federal Capital Territory, and Dakbo Olagunju, Public Relations Officer Ekiti. The meeting appraised the activities of the association for the past one year and commended the acting national president for holding forth in the face of many challenges confronting the association. It reminded government to step up the process of granting full autonomy to the 774 local government areas in Nigeria to promote accelerated good governance at the grassroots. Not long after he became the president, Gamble made straight for Clevis studio where he fielded questions. My guest here is the chairman of Rafi local government area of Niger State. Actually, he is on this program not because of Rafi local government, but because he has just been elected as the national president of Association of Local Governments of Nigeria, that is Argon, Ahaji Gambo Tanko Kegara. Raji Gambo, you welcome to the program. Thank you. Now, um, before we go into the enlarged body of uh, Argon, you are the chairman of Rafi local government and you have spent one year, one, one, one year in office. Yes. What are these things you have brought, these new things you have brought to Rafi local government that have stood you out as a unique local government chairman? Yes. Uh, the first thing that uh, uh, makes me, uh, in one year that I did, is that I try to uh, provide uh, waters to almost all the local government, which is each word. I'm able to uh, drill five five boreholes, which is about six boreholes, sixty boreholes. Also, I, I build a good and very big town hall, which is the one of the best in all over the uh, I would say local around the local governments. Also, uh, there, there is a road rehabilitation which I did. I also built uh, police stations. Also, I did uh, a market and other uh, things that I did was uh, to sponsor some students for scholarships. I also have my, all, uh, most of my, uh, I empowered the youth in my local government. Okay. With this, uh, almost, uh, I have uh, s almost 60 projects which led that uh, the party even hoarded me last two weeks. Okay, they hoarded yeah. you last they two weeks. They me last week as well. At the best chairman in Niger State. Um, let's go to this issue of uh, local government autonomy, which I know virtually every local government chairman has been agitating yes. uh, for that. Yes. Exactly. When we say local government autonomy, what, what is the meaning? What are we looking for? Uh, local go government autonomy is how to manage your resources. It's are you, how not, to managing, manage resources. Are you yes. not managing your resources now? No. Uh, you know, before, if, there is, uh, if you have uh, autonomy, your money or your fund from the federal government will come directly to your local government. Okay. Now, how to manage it? It is you that you are going to manage as the chairman. For now, in Niger State, for, uh, for, for instance, uh, His Excellency gave us our own autonomy, which, which led to what I told you that I was able, even, to give a contract of 78 million. Without autonomy, you cannot do it. 
it was this that gave me the, 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 the courage to give a water supply to my community. Now, um, as an Algonquin president now, I will succeed to all uh, uh, the excellency governors of uh, various states to give their local government autonomies, just like Niger has done. Finally, I know that in some states there are problems with payment of uh, teacher salaries. You, you handle payment of primary school teachers, right? Yes. Yeah, this is a local government. Yes. Uh, what is the situation like in the payment of teacher salaries in your local government, Rafi? Uh, in my local government, I don't have problem with uh, salaries since I assume office. Because I told you, our every governor has given us the autonomy, full autonomy. So whenever my, uh, my share comes to me, I pay my salaries. Okay. So I don't have, we don't have, even in Niger State, generally we don't have problem of paying salary. Uh, to tell you that uh, my governor also, uh, he even helped the local government again because he is going on visit to each and every local government. The moment he finished that visit, he'll give you 30 million out of the government fund again. To add to, to, add your, to your own. Location. To your own. The last, uh, uh, this Paris club that came, he gave us 4.8 billion. So I, I, I when I assume office, I will encourage all other, I will succeed from all other uh, governors to do the same as uh, uh, governor of Niger State, Abu Bakar Sani Bello, is doing to his local government chairman. Okay. Yeah. Right, uh, viewers, I have been having a chat with uh, Arhaji Gambo Tanko Kagara, the uh, Rafi local government. Uh, chairman in Niger State, but that's not why he came onto the program. He actually came as our guest in his capacity as the new national president of our station of local government of Nigeria, Argon. Alaji Kegara, thank you very much for coming onto the program. Thank you very thank much. You. We are very grateful. Thank you very much. <laughs>